let us study faraday's laws sir faraday has given two laws sir let us study the first law whenever magnetic flux linked with a coil closed circuit changes and emf is induced in the circuit which lasts in the circuit as long as the magnetic flux is changing okay so what happens is uh, you see it says we take a circuit here okay we take the coil and the galvanometer and we move the magnet okay so when you move the magnet what happens the magnetic flux will change okay he says the current will be there and the emf is there why when only if the magnetic flux is changing okay if you stop moving the magnet current is not produced okay that's what he says now let's see the second law now let us study the second law here the magnitude of the induced emf in a closed circuit is equal to the time rate of the change of magnetic flux linked with the circuit okay let us see what does it mean okay, he says that the magnitude okay, we can express in a equation format okay this is very much more simpler okay the magnitude of the induced emf that means this one okay, we are not taking vector here this is the induced emf e stands for the emf is equal to the time rate okay so we divide by time okay rate comes means we divide by time is equal to time rate of the change of the magnetic flux okay so we say b delta uh, phi b means what it means the magnetic flux okay so e is equal to d phi b by dt so in this equation let's write what each term means okay so i take this equation here in this equation e means the emf okay phi b means what it means the magnetic flux okay and then t means what t means the time okay so now we can understand this so the magnitude of the induced emf in a closed circuit so this one is equal to the time rate okay time rate of the change of the magnetic flux linked to the circuit okay so if the magnetic flux changes more okay, you can see that now this coil here and this is galvanometer okay this is the magnet here if you bring it fast what happens there will be more deflection okay if you don't move itself what happens there is no deflection okay so if the magnetic flux changes increases okay, in this case what happens magnetic flux must increase then we can have a more emf that's what he says okay so we consider in this equation we consider just there is just only one turn okay there is just only one turn of the uh, of the coil and then we have a magnet okay but now if there are n turns let's see in real life we have n turns okay so if there are n turns what happens if there are n turns what will happen okay so in this right n that so e is equal to n into d phi b by dt Okay, this n I can bring it inside. Okay, by this we can bring it. So let's see what happens now. So let me erase this part here. Okay, so let let's see this now. So what it is e is equal to d by dt of n phi. Okay, so in this case, what happens? N is coming inside. Okay, so the, if you have n terms, means you get you can use this equation. Okay, so what does n phi means? Okay, here. N phi stands for the flux linkage. You can see, okay, flux linkage. Okay, so that's what it means. Okay, so go through the second rule here. Okay, it's enough that you write up to here. Okay, e is equal to d phi b by dt. Write the equation and write the rules here. So this is a very important rules here. First law and the second law. Okay, go through them carefully. Thank you for watching.